messed up like that. Good morning, y'all. Boy, everybody's all bright and early this morning, aren't they? I get five fish today, I'm gonna clap. I'm gonna say, good job there, buddy. Place been for real stingy. If you watch the practice video, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But we did figure out some stuff the last day of practice. So if you haven't seen the practice video, you gotta watch it to kind of put it all in context. But we're at Pickwick Lake, first of June. It's the time of year these fish get offshore and uh, they're starting to. They're starting to. People are starting to find them too. It's hard to get on anything. So it's one of those tournaments. It's gonna be one of those tournaments. It's gonna be boat position. It's gonna be getting on a spot, staying on a spot. You know, should, should I stay, should I go? You know, it's uh, we've all got about what? What do you have about six, seven places? Yeah, maybe five, six I don't places. Know, positioning ain't gonna be a problem for me. I'll yeah. Tell you why? Why? I got my BB gun in the boat. <laughs> you just gonna shoot them, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna lob one up. I'm gonna lob one over there at them at least. You're gonna roll in like hardcore, like what? Like so, if somebody's sitting there fishing like this, right, on the spot. And they're and they're casting. Are you gonna roll? Are you Where's gonna roll like? Spot? Is this the spot? <laughs> that's gotta, the spot. If we're gonna do a map. We gotta make an. Is this the bank? This the bank? Yeah, that's the bank. So, yeah. so Matt, the current's coming this way. Is is this the map move? Is the map move? Come in full plane, full plane right here where you scare them. Like that you think you're they're gonna you're gonna hit them, and then you come off plane and you slide in like this. Yeah. You ever parallel park? Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. It's a drift move. Yeah. You come off. Oh, or you could just shut it down and just. Do like the local idol, you know, yep. like when I caught one in practice, they just sneak up behind you and you turn around and you're all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, there's a boat. So when you're over here, when you're on the other spot and you see this guy catch one on a spot you hadn't fished and you start coming this way like this. Nonchalant. You look the other way, but you keep casting and stay on the trolling mode. Right. You leaving? Yeah, out of here. You didn't eat yeah. a Palomar biscuit? What about a Palomar biscuit? Right there. Yeah, I want one. You didn't? You don't eat one? You're not going to eat one you made? Nah. You got to try one. You might have poisoned them all. My gotcha. Yeah, trying, I'm trying to get trying to get that leg up on you, see? Right. We'll be out there handicapped all That's day. That's right. We'll get ready to break them. Dang, he put a little extra cheese in there for a little bit. A little he's, tummy ache. Because he spiked her. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we should have brought the other skeeter. Then I could have gone on a lake by myself. All right, just a little over five. About 53, 54, four o'clock check in. It's going to boil down to getting on the right spot and making good decisions today. Staying patient, you know. I've got a, I've got a couple techniques that these fish are reacting to, so I'm just going to stick with that all day. And uh, you know, if I need to make an adjustment, obviously I will. I've got finesse stuff, but. I'm excited. Now here's the facts. I, I have seven or eight schools of fish, possibly. I probably won't be able to fish all of them because there's gonna be boats on most everything, I would imagine. So hopefully we can just make some good decisions. Uh, you know, get out there. All we need is five good ones. Two days in a row, let's make the cut. Then we'll make it up as we go. all you can ask for so thank you lord for setting me up on at least where i my game plan you know let me check the current situation tva okay so it says at 6 a.m to 6 to 8 3 and 8 o'clock 4 so 8 o'clock they're gonna crank it so that's good it's fine that's good it's fine <clears throat> Current. 
start starting to push just a hair, which is good. I can see the, the stuff starting to leave, the, all the junk. Because when you see all that slime on the water, I don't know what it is. It looks like a striper. So the bass, like yesterday, if you slid over too far, you caught white bass every cast. Uh -huh. When you slid to the where the bass were, like the bass were on the edge of the white bass. I only caught three here, but they're all big, yeah. you know. And then there's a bunch more that you could see them. That might be bad. That might be. The way he hit, too, he thumped it. He went thump. I knew the way he hit it. Yes, sir, boy. Lord, three pounder, dude. Maybe. God darn it. Dang it, dude. That was a three and a half. Maybe. Damn, maybe. I think so. I think. I don't know. Maybe not. Feels a little different. Yeah, he feels different. I'm trying to jump. We drifted off the spot. I didn't know my, my button drifted back like 70 feet. Probably a stripe. Not oh, large mouth. Got back up to that spot and got one. and a half. I'm gonna put him on this side. The longer that this st stays open, the, the bigger chance I have to have it to myself. Yeah. You know, first thing in the morning, it's a little bit kind of like free run. Everybody can kind of get where they want to get. But once it gets up in the day a little bit, somebody can go flying in here and just sit right on top of me. I felt like a bass. Maybe. If he's trying to jump. No, probably a white. That's a white. Maybe. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Jump. 
two and a half, two and three quarters. Look at the markings on that thing. Caught a four, three, and a couple high twos. And jumped to like a three and a half off. And that's with no current. If you can get bonus bites before current rolls, you're ahead of the school, you're ahead of the game. Dude, there's some big Asian carp under the boat. I think it's a bass. Yeah, that's a bass. Dang, holy crap, dude. Not as big as I thought. Another two and a half. Who would have thought after three days of practice? Hardly catching anything, dude. To catch a limit in the first hour. <laughs> now that we got a limit, let's go meat hunting. Dude, it's so hot, my sweat sweating. So three two and a halves, a two, a three, and a four one. So whatever that is. That's a bass. Oh, it pulled off. That felt good. Just like you did last year, Scott Martin. Mm -hmm. Does it with Scott a little bit? If you can hear Scott, you uh, obviously a completely different set of circumstances. The secret is I've got a 22 year old relationship with this old gal called Pickwick and she's been good to me over the years. <laughs> Scott, you've got a lot of experience BMW trailer hitches on the line fishing here this time of year. Is this one of those tournaments where you come to and you're like, man, you just have to go to the usual schools, the usual 
you know, little areas that guys are grouped up, or, or did you come to this event and say, I'm going to scrap my experience this time of year and find something off the wall? I tried that, Z. You know, I tried to scrap my plan and find stuff that's obscure, stuff that, that people haven't found. But unfortunately, with the mapping the way it is, the amount of tournaments that we've had here on this body of water, it's hard to find anything secret. I, for me, I think this week it's gonna it's gonna boil down to us to a couple bait choices and a couple little bit different ways of fishing um, than your traditional uh, ways. So, you know that's that's kind of how I've caught them this morning. Um, there's not a lot of current, so to catch a, a limit, you know, with not a lot of current rolling, in my opinion, it's kind of a bonus. Um, you know, I would have I would have pretty much been happy with just a couple fish this morning, but to have five is a blessing for sure. I don't have any boats around me, which is another good thing. So we'll see, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna boil down to managing fish and, uh, and just, you know, making the right decisions on the water, really accurate cast and finding those fish. There's a lot of white bass right now. Um, there's a lot of, lot of other things going on out here. So, you know, getting dialed in on the bass sometimes can be a little tricky, but I've, I've landed on them this morning. Big spoons, big swim baits are gonna be the things that I'm gonna be throwing. There's one right there. That feels like a pretty decent fish. Maybe, might be a white bass, but I think it's a large mouth. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it feels like, oh yeah, it's a good fish. He's going back down. Mm. Okay. There we go, guys. I'm calling, you know, the thing is going to be this i don't want to burn them up too much but as long as i can show them different baits throughout the week you know i might catch them on a certain lure today i might not catch that many on it tomorrow you got to mix it up a little bit that's kind of you have to approach it but it's a nice three pounder there it's going to help a little bit so that might be a boat on that other school but there's not a lot of traffic up here man i noticed it yesterday like there was only like three boats up here like i got i don't know what was going on Six. This just feels good to catch a bass. Go to Lake Fort, one of the best lakes in the country, and I struggled. Oh my gosh, it's a mule, dude. I mean, a mule. Like, absolute mule. Dude, if this is a bass, it's a 10 pounder, dude. Catfish. Did he hit right where he's supposed to hit too? And did not fight like a catfish at first. Thank 
I mean, he might help. I don't know. No help. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh no. I haven't seen him yet. No. Might help. Might help. There's a bunch of them there though. Man, this is pickwick like it's supposed to be. I'm calling your shots, man. The 212. 212. 211. 211, okay, we're moving up in the world now. Two nine, two nine's gotta go. That was my last two nine, I think. And a three six, okay. All right. All right guys, midday update. 16 pounds or so. Um, it's been a blessing really, you know, I wasn't real sure exactly how many I'd catch today, but we've caught them okay. Lacking a couple big bites, but we're getting into that part of the day where a big bite could happen. So big swim baits, of course, the scrounger, you know, I, I, sh I hopefully we'll have an opportunity at a couple real big fish this afternoon. Uh, we got exactly what we need right now and it's a blessing. So Canterbury just pulled up. He's got five, 10 pounds, 11 pounds or so. And, uh. Not sure about Matt, obviously, so hopefully Matt's catching them, but it's been fun so far. There's a good one. Small mouth, I bet. Feels like one. Large mouth. He's like a 210. 
There's one. I thought that was fish. I don't know if it's a stripe. Probably a stripe. Maybe, huh? Maybe not. Maybe it's a good one. I saw him come up. I don't know what this is. But I saw the fish rise up to the top. That's a nice large mouth. I saw him rise up to the top. There's a school of them. Progressive Angler of the Year, Team Skeeter Yamaha, Scott Canterbury. How's it going, Scott? Oh, it's good. It's good. It's a good day out there. Uh, it's a little tough fishing, but uh, maybe we can bounce back tomorrow. Good practice for you, or is this kind of, you know, indicative of what, what you had during practice? No, it was pretty tough practice for me. You know, I was excited about this tournament when the schedule came out, but Anytime you come up here, it can be awesome. It seems like we just missed it by a week, though. I mean, if we'd have been here last week. Good start for you, though. 13 pounds and 12 ounces. 13, 12, good evening. Sitting in 22nd place currently. You know, kept myself in it. Hopefully, I had 13, 12, so I didn't just blow it too much. So uh, hopefully, I can go back out there tomorrow, catch a big one or two. I never got a good bite today, so hopefully tomorrow it'll happen and uh, move up that leaderboard a little bit. Hopefully, the SMC house can make a rebound. They they called them and I didn't. Hopefully I can get up there with them tomorrow. All right, guys. Well, we survived. Kind of tell that they really caught a lot of fish though today. 20, 22 pounds is leading. I just looked at the weigh in. <laughs> All right. From Shelby, North Carolina, Team Toyota's Matt Airy. How'd it go for Matt today? That was a good start, uh, but it was a slow grind. It's uh, it worked hard. That's a really good bag of fish in that VMC weighing bag. Let's get a weight on him. 19 pounds, 13 ounces. Matt Airy up into fifth place. Dude, we're uh, about 58 anglers into this, and you're sitting in fifth place. That is a very solid start. It was slow and steady. I uh, those are the five best bites I had by far today. I everything else was you know two two and a quarter pounders, and uh, you know it's it's hard to get a good bite. And luckily I caught some that must have spawned two months ago because they were fat and healthy because that makes a big difference right now you know you'd be on those skinny fish and those those late spawners and uh they weigh a half a pound less so uh caught some healthy fish today and uh hopefully we can duplicate it tomorrow but um uh, it is it's slow and steady out there they were all the same size today man uh you know it was it was slow and steady i didn't pull up on one spot and wreck them i had to work for them all day and uh like I said, I, I mean, I got five good bites, but I, I didn't ever get a big, big bite. And I uh, did catch a decent number of just keepers. Um, so I, I'm thinking 10 or 12 pounds probably won't be a problem tomorrow, but if we can get a couple five pounders, you know, and we can uh, break that 20 pound mark, maybe we can uh, maybe we can scare somebody at least. So <laughs> we're uh, gonna go out there and try to duplicate what we did today tomorrow. And um, just, I uh, hate to say it, but keep a spinning rod in our hand a lot, because that seems to be working. From Clewiston, Florida, come on up, Scott Martin. All right, Scott, you're having a stellar morning out there. Really, you had 16 pounds in the boat like in about three minutes, I think. How'd the afternoon go for you? I mean, I caught more fish, but I never did catch any real good ones. It was hard to get on stuff, you know. A lot of people are, are all over everything, so it's a little hard to get on it. 17 pounds and four ounces is gonna put Scott Martin inside the top 20, all the way up into 15th place. You said you had a lot of good days on, on the lake. Uh, this is probably your favorite time, I would guess, to fish it with these offshore uh, ledges and, and whatnot. Yeah, you know, it's I've, I've got a 22-year relationship with Pickwick. You know, I fished my very first FLW tournament here in 2000. Rick Clun won the tournament, and uh, she's been good to me ever since. So, yeah, you know, I love fishing here in June when these fish are getting out, using electronics, you know, getting 
getting boat position, all that fun stuff. It's really cool to be able to try to figure out how to get those fish to bite. You see a lot of fish and it's hard to catch them, but when you figure out that one little thing to get them to fire up, boy, you get excited. So how did Matt do? Uh, I don't know. He had 19. a bag though, I think, right? 19, I think. 19? Canterbury had 13 something. Yeah. Somebody just weighed in 19 or 20. Somebody Didn't it, uh, Taku Itu? Ta yeah. Taku Itu? Yeah, he did. He had like 20, right? I think so. 22. And Brandon Paulding. I tell you what, hats off to Brandon Paulding. I'm not kidding, guys. Uh, I've been in this sport a long time. A kid's fishing out of his mind right now. Like, like legit out of his mind. With all the distractions he's got going on with his wife. They're about to have a baby. So hats off to you, dude. Um, I'd love to fish with you one day because I just think it would be awesome. But you're an amazing fisherman. And uh, Brandon Paulding, what do you Isn't say? Isn't he like I mean, first in AOI? He's just destroying it. Yep. Here you go. One at a time. Open it up and we'll put cheese on. Did you already pull the... I pulled the plastic off. That's why I said I need some help. God! <laughs> here! Here! <laughs> <laughs> Catch something on that tomorrow. I caught two on it today. Big old seven inch scrounger, one ounce head. That thing worked pretty good. Caught some on a little worm. Caught some on a crankbait. I caught some on a little spoon. You know, we got we got uh we got fortunate we were able to fish where we wanted to fish this morning. Hopefully there's some fish left. Hopefully I can slide in there tomorrow morning and catch. A nice limit in the morning again and then from there I can just go fishing try to figure out how to win this tournament because we're gonna need we're gonna need to step it up I mean those guys caught 20 22's leading 20 22's first 22's second 22's third you know, I think there's 10th place is like 18 and a half 19 pounds so um, tight you know but you know what 17-4 it's uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. I really am. You know, after practice, first couple days of practice was awful. But again, yesterday is when we unlocked everything. Yesterday is when we really figured out what's going on. And um, so we're just gonna get out there tomorrow and see what happens. You know, Matt, Matt's uh, in a good position. You know, he's doing really good for points as well. So that's a big deal for him. And Canterbury's not out of this thing. He's right on the bubble right now, 14 pounds. So he's right there, just needs one big bite. Tomorrow's main goal is to uh, make the cut and build a bag that's better than what we had today. Good morning, y'all. Today is cut day. We all gotta be in the cut. We gotta do a house cut, man. No matter what, house cut. What's the plan? Jack them up. Try to catch them. You know what I've realized about this lake, and, and as much as I like Pickwick, this may become a shock to a lot of people, but I don't think it. I don't, it's not a good tournament, like because it doesn't. It's like you found well, the years as it has grass, it is. Yeah, but look, you found five or six good places, and you literally couldn't get on any of them, but like one. I was the second one there. <laughs> yeah, on it. Right. So you really got nothing to yourself, and the other places your your plan was. Boat camped on it, boat camped on it, boat camped on it, boat camped on it. You couldn't get on anything. And that same thing kind of happened to me. And and in a way, this tournament boils down to it's not it's not how good you found fish. It's like what's your boat number? Did you get lucky on a boat number? Did you get lucky on a decision? You know, where you left somewhere right at the exact moment you could right. have left so, like I pulled up to where you pulled up on me yesterday, that little shell hunt. Nobody was there. I pulled up. Fish, catch a couple of fish, two or three fish, four fish. Boom, 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 boom. Boat pulls up. Hey, can I fish here? Huh? Another boat. Whoa. Can I fish here? Another boat comes up. Like five boats to the pass spot. Like they want to get on it so bad it was crazy. Yeah. I probably won't be able to fish it today. You know, it's like tournament fishing is 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 I guess it's what makes you come back for more. It's the jitters, it's the unknown it's it's getting out there like you have a game plan it's my game plan it's only my game plan and everyone here has got a game plan and it's their game plan 
And a lot of times in tournaments like this, all these game plans collide. Then you gotta like make, it's like audibles in football. Like when your play gets busted, they call an audible in, in football because everything gets busted up. Pickwick is a gigantic audible. How many you caught? Oh yeah. I caught I caught quite a few here yesterday morning. Look at all some white bass. There's a good one. Yeah. It's a it's a big it's a big boy, it's a bass, it's a big one, dude. Feels weird again, so I don't know. But it's big, whatever it is. It's trying to come up. I think it's a bass. I think it's a big one. Dude, he's like literally about to jump over by your boat. Don't hit your troll motor. Yeah, I think I'm okay. I don't know what the heck this is, dude. It's feeling weird now. Dude, he's trying to go under your boat. I think it's a bass because he's trying to come up. He's going to damn jump in your boat. Oh, he pulled off. little one finally two pounder took long enough put him on the gotta get rid of him side They're chasing bait up here. I can see them running, running bait. Got him. You stay on, dude. Getting there. Oh my gosh, there's so many up there. There's so many up there. There he is. Another big one, dude. Oh my gosh, this is big.
He jumped off. Dude. It's all it's been all day. I fought one a minute ago earlier and dude it, it like it was it got underneath Matt Heron's boat, dude, and I couldn't get him out from under the boat and he finally just pulled off. That's a large mouth. There's a bunch there. They just gotta get them to set up again. <laughs> One more. One more fish, guys. I'll make the cut at least. I still see them. They're just not biting. See, whenever I threw out there earlier, did you hear me say they're feeding? I saw them on my scope. I, I, my, on my scope, the fish went all over the screen, and I was like, I picked that crankbait up, and boom. Though that's probably the cut, though, guys, which is good. Okay, all right, so that's five, two pounds. The bite, They're eating that red bug, straight tail worm. All right, that helps a lot, guys. That helps a lot. I got that one. I know there's a little one. Ooh, I think it's that one. Get that worm on and get over here, dude. And if not, I got some. Two nine. Another two, two nine. Another two and a half. That helps a lot. Two and a half. That's good. We're getting there. Ooh, 
What a call. <laughs> Barely. Fish this I grabbed it I saw something yeah there was it looked interesting the other day I've caught him here before Jump, dude. Oh gosh, you gotta jump out there. Don't jump, dude. This thing feels huge. It's a good bass. He's snagged on the back. Got a four pounder and a guy's snagged in the back. He's not four pounds, but he's he'll help me. Helps by about a pound. Told you we found him though. Alright. What a day. Super frustrating and a blessing at the same time. I think I made the cut, which is good. I didn't move up the ranks, which is bad. So that being said, I, I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't know where we're going to end up in this thing, but we're getting a fish another day. I really wanted to catch a big bag today and make a big move, but, you know, I'll save that for tomorrow. If I catch a big bag tomorrow, I'm, I'm sure I'll make the top ten. From Clewiston, Florida, everybody knows this, Scott Martin. How we doing, man? Good, good. I, I maybe survived today. It was a little stressful today. Didn't catch quite as many, but, you know, we just need to make the cut. That's all we're here for. You need four ounces right now. All right, let's go. All right. 14 pounds, three ounces, 31.7. You're currently in 14th place. He likes it. Give it up for Scott Martin. Here we go. Why do you fold it so many times? Every time. <laughs> What's that say? 14 3. 14 3. He'll make it. Made it. 31 cut. pounds. 31, 31 7. So we made we made uh, we made the cut. This old girl's been good to me out here. So we'll uh, you know, hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to catch a bigger bag. I mean that's yeah. really what I'm here for to try to win this thing. So, you know, we're, 
We need to be heading in the other direction, though. Yep. But I don't think the, the bags are quite as big today as far as like a lot of the 20 pound bags. I don't, I don't see those on the screen. So I think, uh, I think overall the bite's down a little bit, which is good. So hopefully Canterbury caught them uh, and hopefully Matt caught them. 2019 Progressive Elite Angler of the Year, Scott Canterbury. Part of that great team, Skeeter Yamaha, that we love seeing all around the country. And 13-12 uh, on day number one. It looks like a bit better here today. I don't think so. I think it's a little light of that, but uh, well, it's a little better. So. Yeah, fourteen nine. Don't sell yourself short, Scott. Come on, hold a couple of those up. People say I'm old, don't but My marshal sure were glad they ran a skeeter this week. I ran that Yamaha all over this lake. I mean, nearly to the dam up in the back of Bear. I've been all over the place, and I've been struggling to get bites, but uh, I sure would like to make it and get back out there and try it one more time. So. Appreciate y'all coming out. What'd you get? What'd you get? 14.9, I think. Good. I think you made the cut. I don't know, Dave. I hope so. I think you did. 14. What's that give you? Yeah, you got it, dude. Hell yeah. I hope so. Hell yeah. I caught a good one on my last cast, dude. The last cast. The last cast. I, 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 put, I strapped my rods down. The lastest cast? The last cast. <laughs> and there was a load, like hundreds of them. Right? Matt had a stellar day number one at 19 pounds and 13 ounces. He's got five here again today. Yeah, they're not 19, 13, but uh, it'll be enough to fish tomorrow. I just, uh, I'm going to have to go get some gas. I hadn't put any gas in my ranger the last two days, but I'm going to have to get some gas. I'm going to have to get some gas because I'm going to have to make something happen. It was an absolute grind down here today, and uh, they got seven or eight keeper bites. Um, just going to have to change it up tomorrow to make a run this thing. Hold a couple off for me. Today's weight, 14 pounds, one ounce. Going to have you a two-day total of 33.14 for Matt, Harry, Team Toyota. There you go. That's awesome. Just something to give you guys. Matt, oh, that's awesome. Go ahead and take a look at it. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, cool. I make those on my side. Really? Yeah. So. That's really nice. I you want to show share it? with what I do. That's awesome. I appreciate that. So, yeah. So that is cool. And there's uh, some extra covers, and an extra cover and a straw. That's you like set, a you, you make those and sell them yes, and stuff? You got a, is there a card in there? There is a business okay, card in there. Okay, awesome. Yes. I appreciate that. So, yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll watch you guys on, on Scott's channel. So oh, yeah. Keeping up with it. <laughs> That's awesome. How Rhonda Hunter, how are you? What's your name? Rhonda Hunter. Pleasure to meet you, Rhonda. Brandon Hunter. All right. Nice to meet we, you, uh, I do a side job of making tumblers. Yeah. Oh, really? I watch your show. Yeah. The three of you guys and you're goofing around and stuff. So. Oh my gosh! Really? A gift. I, tumbler. I actually was wanting one of these. <laughs> well. What you got? Look no further. <laughs> oh heck yeah! That's awesome, is it not? <laughs> Check out that side. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that is the best thing ever. <laughs> That's cool. That is the best thing ever. You hey, make these. Do you, do you have like a card, card in here? Card in there. All right, so yeah. hold on. We gotta give a big shout out here. This is cool. That's like. That is awesome. Actually, it's in. Okay, here you open it up. Check out. So, and it's got a couple different lids. Yeah. It's got, it's got uh, another lid here. Clear lid. lid. Okay, yeah. good. So, All right, so, so, cool. so that's really good quality. So Look at that. That is awesome. And like, there's my business card and the information on the back. All right, so here, custom creations. Custom creations. I don't know if you can see that or not. Appreciate it. No thank you very we'll much. You're welcome, thank you. We'll flip it over right there. You guys are great to watch. There it is. <laughs> that's really good. Now, can we uh, hand wash? Yes, hand wash only. Hand wash only. I say put it in the dishwasher. I have a friend that puts it in one, but prefer. But see, that's so cool. That's not like a sticker. That's what. You, that's all like yeah, epoxy. Clear coat. Yes, clear it coated. is. Yeah. That's all Start like. Start with a base coat. Yeah. Basic cup and turn it into that. So Matt's got one too. So he said he'll check them out. Really? So all three of you got one. Yes. Well, thank you so You're much. Welcome. That's awesome. Love here. watching. Right, cool. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's the best, the coolest gift I've ever got. That's what Matt said. <laughs> yeah. That's great. So, yeah. All right. House cut. Again. House cut, baby. <laughs> Where's Matt? Sleep, sleep. It's getting dark. Papa's Paw -paw yeah. going to bed. <laughs> Dude, what are we gonna do? What do we have to catch tomorrow? Like for real? I need to catch like 27. Really? I've done it here before. Yeah. 27. I don't be... know if I can do it. Way it's been so hot all week. I've sweat. I've started cramping today. <laughs> cranking it. Really? Yeah. yeah. My hands been cramping. So. Oh my gosh. That's why you got a headache, didn't you? Yeah. I got like seven bottles, big bottles of water in the yeah. boat now. So. What? It, well, so I have 31 pounds. What's it gonna take? What's it gonna be? I ain't even looked. What's 30, 34 something. It's top 10? Yeah. Oh, well, all you gotta catch is 9, 20. 35. Okay. That's uh, 17 a day. Yeah. And you got how much? 31. 17, 17, 17. Yeah, you gotta catch 20. 
All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave you with that because we're going to close this video out. We're going to start with day three tomorrow, all three of us. We're going to have cameras on the water, hopefully. And uh, anyways, that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you so much for all the support, uh, subscribing to our channel, all that great stuff. Love you very much. We will see you. Bam!